volunteerism, high schools require it, colleges recommend it, and community organizations desperately need it. As part of an effort to enrich our community, Montgomery College encourages everyone to donate time and energy to area organizations. And many faculty members have integrated community service activities into their coursework. We'll talk about some of these great programs next on Campus Conversations. Welcome to Campus Conversations. I'm Marcus Rosanna. And I'm Fritzi Bodenheimer. We all know how important it is to give back in our community, and Montgomery College has embraced service learning as a vehicle to encourage students, faculty, and staff to get involved. And today we're excited to be joined by staff, faculty, and students who have participated in and organized these programs. With us now is Nick Sushka, Service Learning Coordinator for Montgomery College on the Rockville campus and Carl Smith, who incorporates service learning activities into his courses at Montgomery College's Tacoma Park Silver Spring campus. Welcome to you both. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Nick, let's uh, start with you. Just talk a little bit about the concept of service learning that we have here uh, at Montgomery College. Okay. Service learning is an opportunity for teachers to incorporate community service as either a requirement or an optional portion of their in-class curriculum. And it's an opportunity for students to have hands-on experiential learning that ties directly into what they're learning in the classroom. And so that's really a little bit different than, say, traditional community service mm -hmm. or maybe an internship because it has that sort of academic link. Yes, yes. It's definitely different from, say, what um, MCPS might require as a community service graduation requirement. Um, instead of focusing on the hours, for instance, the teachers are focused on what the students are learning and how it ties in with what they're trying to teach in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Carl, talk a little bit about um, how closely uh, you have to work with the service learning programs. And you're in political science um, right. and Ameri American government. Right, um, right. I, I, how do you make sure that the students who choose their service learning programs, that can match up to the curriculum that you're trying to teach? Well, fortunately, we have somebody uh, at the Tacoma Park campus mm -hmm. whose job it is to help make that happen. Uh, because it's for an American government class, I want to make sure that the concepts that we cover in the class and some of the theoretical framework that we, mm -hmm. when you have a discussion uh, or when you, you talk about American government, is reflected in what they do in the service learning. So we try to, I, we try to get students who are into uh, into placements where they are doing something related to what the government does. What are some of those examples? Mm -hmm. Well, a great example is uh, there is an after-school program that works specifically with at-risk youth in yeah. some of the Mont Montgomery County elementary schools. At-risk meaning students who are not doing very well in the classroom, mm -hmm. may need extra assistance in, with reading or math and that sort of a thing. So it's government program, it's, it's government at the right. local level, it's not big federal government, Uncle Sam level government, but it's still government. And so students are, are doing that, those sort of placement, and they're learning, when they're doing that and they're working with the students, they're, they're providing a community service, mm -hmm. but they're also learning what the role of government is in education, uh, issues about funding, the importance of testing, and mm -hmm. that sort of a thing. And what reaction do you get from the students? Well, it's overwhelmingly positive. Mm. Uh, they really enjoy uh, going out, uh, doing this kind of work. Um, and I think an extra incentive is I tell the students at the beginning of the class is that they're doing this in lieu of a research paper or something. <laughs> that like always that. helps, yeah. So that's a big, uh, that's a big incentive. So they, they enjoy it for, that, for doing that. Uh, and some of the things are really exciting. Uh, one of my students, uh, for example, this semester has already completed their service learning hours. Uh, and the semester is just past the halfway point. Uh, but he did uh, ride-alongs with the Montgomery mm -hmm. County Police and uh, got into this discussion of what a, uh, the protocol for a policeman when he's doing a, a traffic stop, uh, you know, the whole search and uh, the search procedures, mm -hmm. uh, when you have probable cause, when you don't. And this is all stuff we, we all learn from mm -hmm. opening up the textbook uh, and learn the, 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 the terminology. But here he was in the police car in Montgomery County and seeing this in action. So mm -hmm. you, you can't duplicate that in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Nick, how do professors, and I'm sure you help with this, um, mm -hmm. since this is tied to an academic goal, 
How do you do measurement? How do you assess mm -hmm. how these programs are working? It definitely depends on the classroom and we try to work with the different faculty to use whatever forms of assessment they would typically use for other assignments because service in the classroom is not that different in terms of what you're trying to teach and how you want to measure it. So students that um, would maybe learn by writing a paper could write a paper. We have faculty on the Rockville campus who have the students incorporate their service project as a source in a paper. Mm. Instead of going to the library, they go to a community organization. Um, other faculty might assign a test. They might have journals. I think Carl uses journals for That's his right. students. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on the faculty and each of the service learning coordinators on the campuses have conversations at the beginning of the semester with the faculty and talk to them about how they want to assess learning outcomes for the students who are doing service learning. Mm. How important is it to get the, uh, the students out of that classroom grind? Um, mm. The monotony of the grading, getting your <laughs> paper and looking at the <laughs> B or the C or the worst, uh, getting them with hands-on experience in the community. I think it is so important, uh, especially when you're talking about environments such as we have in Montgomery College, where we get the so-called non-traditional student. Right. I think non-traditional is now the traditional. <laughs> it's changed <laughs> so much. But I think what, you, what we have is so many students who come to a community college uh, who don't have the traditional sort of lecture or what we call chalk and talk experience. Right. Mm -hmm. teacher, teacher talks, writes on the chalkboard, students take notes. That's not how they're really good at learning. They like to, to do things, they like to move, they like to get up and interact. And actually research indicates that that's how people retain information just as well as sitting down and, and reading and, and, and taking lecture notes. So uh, I think it's really important in general, but I think at the two-year college where you're getting so many students who have these different learning experience, who, have, who have come from different backgrounds, uh, it, it's really vital to have this. Okay. And speaking of interacting, I want to thank both of you for interacting with us today. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll see how some psychology students are taking their coursework to a new level by getting out into their communities. Stay tuned. You're watching Campus Conversations. It helps others, but it also helps each of us personally to partake in volunteering. You can learn so much about yourself. You never know what's going to happen in this world, but with Food Volunteering, we help one another. And I believe that just, you know, locally, you know, think globally, act locally. To strengthen our beliefs, our issues, but also encourage one another as a community. It helps to develop and enhance their existing skills. I just want to grow personally, as well as if I want to be a teacher later on in life after I graduate, this gives me a great opportunity to kind of get started for the feel of it and understanding it and be able to connect with other people who do this kind of work. It's just a really great experience for me and just working with the community. I really love it. 